In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a police car from GTA Vice City in Minecraft. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, we're here to help you build bigger and better, so if that's something you're interested in, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Anyway, let's get into the video. Alright then guys, so here we are on my flat tutorial world, and here is the police car. So the nice green and white, very kind of uh, reminiscent of the Miami police cars as well. Um, I actually quite like this combo, I think it looks pretty cool. So this one is nine blocks long in total, it's five blocks wide, and it's just three blocks high. In terms of the blocks that you're going to need for this one, you're going to need a block of neverite for your wheels. Feel free to switch that out for something like black concrete powder if you're doing it in survival. Also grab yourself a stone button, a green concrete block, white concrete block, mossy cobblestone stairs are the closest we've got to a green stair at the minute. So uh, yeah, that's why we're using that one. Uh, if we do get one that's better in the future, feel free to use that one. I've also got a blast furnace, a black stone stair, black stained glass, uh, and also some white carpet as well. So grab yourself those, that will get us started. If you guys want to make it in this nice rectangle, again, it's nine blocks long and five blocks wide, so go for that. Switch over to your tire block, that's going to be a block of neverite. And just from the front here, we're going to be two blocks back, so leave two. And then we're going to have one wheel down here, leave a gap, have your other wheel. We're going to have a three block gap in between these and we're going to have another set of wheels so three blocks in there you can see it's exactly even on the front and also on the back in terms of this little square and um, we're going to have some stone buttons on here we can also do some item frames as well with something like a glass pane on this and feel free to use the invisible version as well uh, that also looks good this is the lower lag kind of version i guess uh, which is what i end up using Right, with your green concrete, we're going to have a green concrete um, block in between at the front. We're going to have one at the back here, so going towards the back, just one. And also one in the back piece right here. With your white concrete, we're going to have two of those just on the sides here like this. So there we go. So you've got mostly, well, you've got kind of actually an even amount of uh, green and white really. Uh, but you can see mostly white on the side. At the front, we're going to have just two cobblestone uh, stairs. They're going to be just down here like this and like that. With a blast furnace as your engine block right in the middle of those ones. And at the back, we're just going to have three mossy cobblestone stairs across the back like that there. Right, so with your blackstone stairs, this is going to be to give us a bit of a slope for our glass. If we ever get glass stairs, that would be amazing for this, wouldn't it? So what we're going to do right here is we're going to have a stair right here. And we're going to wrap that around right here and one again there. So it's just one block behind the wheels. Now, if you want, you can put in a block underneath this. Um, I think that's what I did on mine. Yeah, I did. So put in a green concrete block just underneath that as well, like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have two blocks of your black stained glass behind this one and two and one and two right there. And then with our black stone stairs, we're going to have a stair on the back here. Again, we're going to wrap these around at the back. This time, those are on top of the wheels. So you've got a bit more of a bonnet and less at the back. Okay, so that's what you get. Now, what I did with mine is I put in a black stained glass right here as well, just to make it easy to put white carpet on top like that. But if you guys wanted to, you could use string or you could use a barrier block, something like that will do absolutely fine. It's totally up to you guys, really. Next set of blocks that we're going to need is a green carpet. You're also going to need a warped trapdoor. That's the bluest trapdoor that we've got at the minute. Not bluest, greenest. Well, it's kind of bluey green, isn't it? So it's halfway between it. You're going to need a lever and also black stained glass pane, a daylight detector as well, a spruce sign and a glow ink sack. So let's get with those. So with your green carpet, you're going to have three of those across the front part of the car. Just make sure that when you've got your blast furnace that you do sneak and then you can click to place that one on top. Behind that, we're going to have three warped trapdoors, one, two and three right here like that. Then with your daylight detectors, that's going to go on top of here. This is going to be our nice police lights. So we're going to have those going across right here so you're gonna have to do sneak and click again and what I did is I changed these two to blue so just right clicked on those to make them blue uh, rather than all of it so you get a little bit of uh, kind of you know lights flashing is the kind of idea with that one with your lever now we're gonna have that just on the side right here we have black stained glass pane on the top now this doesn't connect into here but I'll show you guys with the debug stick how you can do that if you have the debug stick that'll be near the end all right so you can put those on the side there like that on the front guys, if you just place on a spruce sign, this is going to be the number plate. Uh, so what I usually do is I do dashes on the top and the bottom, 
There we go, top and the bottom. And then if you guys can, credit for me for the design and just write Lord Dacker in there, that would be much appreciated. Uh, that will really help my channel out because when people see the build, and they might be like, oh, I'll check that dude out. And then uh, I make more stuff. So do the same on the back as well. Um, like I say, guys, it's really appreciated. This is the uh, kind of number plate though. So if you want to go with numbers, go with numbers. Uh, across the back now, we're going to have three green carpets just to kind of flesh that out. Then it doesn't make it look as triangular kind of diagonal uh, in its kind of shape like that. Next up, grab yourself a birch sign. This is the whitest sign that we've got. It's not really that white at all. Um, you're also going to need green dye and a glow ink sack for this one. So we're going to put this onto the white part of this here. And right in the middle, we're going to do city O. Okay, it's going to be a bit split across the two. Put a load of spaces in front of that there. And then just on the next line, do a pole. Okay, and push that all the way over. That's what you end up getting. On the next sign now, again, second line, we're going to do F vice and put the spaces at the end to push that over. And then we're going to do ice, okay? So we end up with F, Vice, and then we can see it when it's together. City of Vice Police, uh, which is what's on the side there. So put green dye onto that, and then make it glow, and it will make it really stand out like that. Wow, look at that. Super duper glowing. <laughs> so same thing again on the other side. City O, not Sitso. Uh, City O, and then put your spaces at the front of that. Push that all the way over. And then we get Pole, and then push that all the way over. And then the other side, or the other way around, we've got o, v, uh, sorry, F, Vice, and then Ice, okay? And we'll push those all the way over as well. So there we go, put that in there. You could also just do it on one side if you guys wanted to. I just quite like this. Um, I know it doesn't quite line up, but it still looks kind of cool when you do that. Right, so for the lights, there's different ways you can do this. Um, if you can use World Edit, you can then force a button onto there. Um, and I'll show you guys that in a sec. But if not, you can use an item frame at the back. And you can then put a red stained glass block in there at the back like that. So that's one way you can do it. And on the front, you can use a glow item frame, which looks more like a headlight. I actually prefer these. It's just a, my, my PC lags a lot these days. Um, and you can put an ochre frog light as well on the front there. And that will actually give you some light when you've got it uh, at night time. It's really nice, I think, anyway. So there we go. That's what you can do. Um, the other thing I was saying about earlier is around these wheel arches, you can put in your item frame and you can put in a light grey stained glass uh, block there. Now you can use invisible item frames as well if you have access to the give command or a command block, things like that will do as well. But you can also put those on. But if we want to do a lower lag version of this, what we can do, we're going to knock off those right there, is we're actually going to use World Edit, which is a mod, uh, and we're going to put bamboo buttons on these stairs. So to do that, we need to have a version. We need to do tool replace. I'm using a wooden shovel for this. Um, and you also need to put in what you need to replace it with. I'm just gonna do one, which is stone, but then you can click on that. And now it's got it to bind to the shovel. We can now right click and we can actually get those down there like that. That'll force that in there. And of course, we can then do the same with the back as well. So we can get rid of these, put on a mangrove button, which is our red for our brake light, and then put those two in there like that there. Totally up to you guys which ones you prefer. Um, if you're not using shaders, the item frames actually work pretty well without lagging too much. It's mostly with shaders that it ends up going a little bit laggy. Right, so final touch, what we're going to do is we're going to do slash give your name in Minecraft and then debug stick. Now you might not have this on your version, but if you do, you should get this nice glowing stick thing. And um, what we can do with this is we can click on this and we can actually get it to go to one of the directions. We can do true and then that'll knock it and make it connect into the side here. It's really nice. Uh, I love the debug stick. I wish it was on all versions and hopefully in the future it will do. But guys, that is it for this tutorial. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to comment, like and subscribe. As always guys, I'll see you on the next one.